Well, hey there, Val Matuan here. We're gonna take a, a look at the 1.14 villages today. Oh my goodness, look at that. That right there, the new Taiga village, that is so much better than what we've had. So much better. The lanterns give off a nice light. Even the, ter the terrain generation around it, the, the buildings, it seems to kind of put some ground underneath the buildings. Like the ground is actually part of the spawning in. And it, it just looks amazing. Like right here, I'll show you what I what I was talking about. That I don't think is natural generation. I think that came with the building. And you know, it kind of makes it work, even though the terrain wasn't perfect for the village. That kind of makes it work. Just looks like a little cliff overhang here. I really this is this is beautiful. And the new wood textures? Was that the spruce log, right? Yeah, I like that spruce log. We've got more chests to loot with food for starting off. Some seeds. Well, hi there. The trades still work. Uh, apparently, they're supposed to have multiple trade levels. You could have three different fishermen. And each one have a different set of trades. Level 1, level 2, and level 3. That's going to be interesting to, to look deeper into and check out. Uh, I believe I heard that one, that little tidbit from Zoomavoid. He was looking at the uh, data tags. Let's get rid of you. So I guess uh, instead of iron, maybe a level 3 would have diamond right there, or better enchantments. I'm not sure how it's going to work. But yeah, these little huts, they're very nice. They've all got beds. So instead of having to take apart the lamp post to make your first bed, you're gonna you're gonna have options. Uh, let's see. Love the new farm plots. More organic. Uh, love the fact that they have the mossy cobble in them. And pumpkins. I mean, normally that's like a, one of the big struggles in the beginning is finding pumpkins, finding melons. All that other stuff. Ooh, and some berries. Yeah, these sweet berries. Now, what can they be used for? No, but I, I imagine they have to have some sort of berry pie or something. Maybe you'll need them for the cake recipe, for the little red dots on top of the cake. I'm not sure. Not sure how that's going to work. Okay. Looks like about three stages, and these could be farmed, maybe with dispensers? I'm not sure. I don't know, that's something that maybe we should test out at some point soon. This has definitely got to be a leather worker. Yeah, that's some sort of barrel. Smoker. Now the smokers, according to, uh, according to the update page they cook food faster they cook meat faster than a regular furnace and uh, through a little bit of testing I found that it cooks it twice as fast uh, for the same amount of fuel actually wow even the chimneys the walls as chimneys the little touches they really put a lot of effort into this a little bit of wood floor design Okay, interesting. That is cool that you can take enchantments off. Now, I wish that you could choose, like, every time you put it in there, it would cost some experience, and you would get to choose which line of enchanting you wanted removed. Because there's a number of things that would be made useful then. Oh, look at that berry patch. Those are really going to bring some life to the just to the the general environment I mean that right there looks so much better than it would without those berries now, what kind of house do we have down here 
Just a random house with some uh, loot. I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, berries. I'm really looking forward to uh, 114 coming out. I believe we're going to keep the world we're working in, but we're going to start a season two with uh, kind of going off into unexplored and ungenerated chunks and uh, finding the 114 functions there. Yeah, jack-o'-lanterns all over. This is one of the well types with a bell in... Is, did they get the, the sound? Nice! I wonder if that has any effect on all the uh, villagers. How do I get into this house? Right here. So I'm guessing this is a tannery. Maybe. Stone cutting. Stone cutting bench. Stone cutter. Yep. That doesn't have any functionality in it yet. Alright, so there's going to be... There are some specialized houses. And there's also... Just regular housing. This is one of the uh, farmland farmland structures that can. This can be hay bales. It can be melons. It can be pumpkins. Uh, they seem to be one of the structures that can be generated in a village. Ooh, this has got multiple stories. Although a trapdoor underneath to hide the dirt would be nice. Iron, iron uh, armor. We'll take that. There is no second story to this, but you could easily put a ladder right there and a little second story with a bed. Be nice and safe. Alright, so the butcher has his own cows right out there. Yeah, these villages are amazing. They did a really good job with this. Now, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of villagers spawning. This is a new, fresh world. Oh, okay. Some spruce. And a fern. So they definitely updated the loot tables as well as adding new places for the, the loot boxes. So instead of just worrying about finding somewhere with a blacksmith, I guess there is no blacksmith anymore. There's, well, yeah, there would be. There would be something with a black furnace, black blast furnace. I believe the armorers have their own house. Yep, this is it. So that is the smithing table, and it's not functional yet. Yeah, this is very nice. Farmer. Uh, there is one... Let me in. So there is one more villager that they added. They added a uh, villager called Mason. Uh, doesn't have any trades yet, but the patch notes say that there is, there are going to be trades coming for it. I imagine that'll be uh, the the one that lives in the stone cutter hut that has a clay block in it. Yeah, this random and organic. Farmland, so much better than what they had before. I mean, these are all just my own opinions, but I've been playing the game for years, and these are... I'm actually enjoying this village better than a lot of the modded villages I've seen. It's all It all kind of connects to each other, but they're all uniquely different. It's very nice. I, I, I gotta give it to you, Mojang. You really came through for us on this one. You touched one of the iconic things in Minecraft, and you did it justice. That, that I know that had to have been hard to do. Because you gotta keep everybody happy. You gotta keep the people that 
like the classic version happy as well as the people that want to change happy and I think with these you've kind of kept the original feel but still given it something a lot more now there's still some of the village yeah the dirt definitely came in with the pumpkins on this so that must be part of the structures so there's still problems with some of the generation, but we can all overlook that pretty easily. Let me in. Ooh, what is this? Is this like a little inn? I'd say it's a library, but I don't see one of those uh, book stands, one of the lecterns. All right, and here's a grindstone with its own little lean-to. Uh, this could easily be converted into uh, a horse stable. Very nice. Well, I think that was our look at the new Taiga villages. I'm very impressed and I'm really looking forward to uh, finding one of these in my survival world. Maybe making a mansion overlooking it, you know, kind of like the mayor of the town or the governor, whatever you want to call it. I think that could be really good. Well, if you liked what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. If you're looking for more, uh, I've got a single player series. I've got some ARC series going, and uh, I do have some tutorials and uh, update guides in the channel already. So go out, stop on by, and check those out. And until next episode, hope everyone has a good night.